I got all the catfish gear loaded with the big rigs, okay? We were gonna catch the big catfish, but it rained all morning. So now what we're gonna do is get some carp rigs and go to the river to kill a few hours in the afternoon. I use the sweet corn, the water from the sweet corn to make my bait and uh, the leftover, the kernel itself, I used to chum a little bit, let's say to improve my odds. So this is what we're gonna test today guys. Simple corn versus highly attractive, highly digestible Fresh pineapple, 15 millimeter boilers, okay? I got these guys from uh, France because uh, there is a, a friend of mine, Top Tactic. He's always catching them on these uh, pineapple boilers, big ones too. So I'm gonna test them today, okay? I always catch the most fish on corn. I've tried boilers before. I've caught fish, never as many as on corn. Even the size, all my biggest carp is on corn. But today we're gonna put it to the test. Maybe he's got some better boilers than me. So uh, here is how we're gonna do it. The yellow rods are gonna be on boiler, okay? So you can easily tell uh, which rod we get a bite on. And the black ones are gonna be on corn. So this is the same old rig. Small hook, three kernels of corn. I put two or three and my paste, nothing else. This is the simplest feeder rig in the world. On this one, we're gonna do the same rig, the same hook, the same feeder, the same paste, but we're gonna dangle a little pineapple boiler off the hook. I'm gonna show you how to do it just one time. Here is the hook with the hair, here is the boiler. You get a needle and you try to drive it through, but I'm just doing it extremely slow so not to tap myself. Now if you see the needle, has a little hook at the end. The hook is going to grab this loop, okay, and now we're going to pull the boiler back onto the hair. So we put a little stopper here, so the hair doesn't come out, and that's it. No corn, no nothing. That's that's everything. So uh, a little bit of paste, and that's the final rig. Not bad for a left-hand cast. Oh. First hit was on the boilie. I've never had a miss like this on my corn hooks. As your party state has its limitations to be sure, but some of this coalition stitched together fight and politics also has its own challenges, which we'll talk about now. It's not a big fish, even though a 15 millimeter boil is a good size. Ah! That's the second fish I miss on the goddamn boil. Whoa, whoa, 
Fish number one, guys. Down he goes. Over. Oh, look at this. I think it's gonna be one one pretty soon. Huh? You think so? Did we lose him? That would be my fault if we did. Oh, we didn't lose him. He's right here. Number two is smaller, but we don't judge that. One, one. Wait, 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 wait. That is a mean fish. Mean fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys see this? This is, this is a mean guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He went all the way under the bridge. This is a mean fish. This guy's gonna get me somewhere, buddy. Come here, buddy. He went straight into the net. Look at this huge boily fish, guys. We have uh, bites are 4 to 1 for boily, and fish are 2 to 1 for boily. And the size, the two biggest are boily too. Another decent fish for the river. The corn will not stay too far behind. Okay. This is the second corn fish, guys. So the fish are 2-2 two -two now, but the bites are 4-2 boiling. Down he goes. Hola. Oh my god, I just cast it. Force this guy because oh I lost him again. Interesting. I lose too many. Fish number three for corn guys. Corn is three for three. Boily is two for five. But I think that's because I'm using braid. Biggest fish of the day, guys. On corn, two little kernels. Stop 
fish number three for the boilies guys is a beauty so for boilie we have six bites three fish for corn we have four for four and your prices go down so your market maintained but now you sell mm. more stuff because the price point is lower because your customers don't have an unlimited uh, amount of money they have to budget their money and so if you can offer a lower price right more things can be sold I mean, a lot more people have cell phones today than had them 20 years ago when they were a lot more now expensive. i think this is so going to be the biggest fish of cell phone companies make more money today. <laughs> Five for five because on the core. Here we go again. This time I'm not gonna lose you. For boily, we have four for nine. Beautiful little car, big enough to eat a 15 millimeter boily. Look what's left of this boily. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. I'm gonna need both hands. I can't hold you guys and handle the fish at the same time. Five for ten on the boilie. Five for five on the corn. Fish number six for boily guys out of 11 bites wow a lot of action as I expected you know between you and me I was and even now I still am biased against boilies but let's be honest today boilies outfished corn I got six fish on 11 hits I got only five hits on corn and mind you the way i cast the rods i caught fish first of all on all rods and i fished this pot before you can see lots of videos there's fish everywhere you can't make the argument that i cast the corn on a spot with no fish okay i mean the fi the rod with the fewest fish was cast right between the two boiler rods so hard to make that argument so at least today this pineapple boilie at least today this 15 millimeter pineapple boilie it has particles inside I mean it's a nice boilie outfished carp man this thing 
reeks on pineapple. It's it's not some subtle. Uh, it's not some subtle aroma. I mean, they they loaded it with this thing, which I almost always thought was a bad idea to put too much flavor when fishing for carp, and I even still do. But uh, this carp in this river didn't mind that, so definitely beat my trusty corn. But uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, you're in luck because I bought like uh, $150 worth of boilies from France. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more tests this summer. And, uh,